It is uh, Stéphane Francois at Computed Vision Consulting. This video is showing the steps to run a custom QR code decoding program using leading machine vision library Halcon from MVTech on a smart camera from Vision Components, specifically the C6210 Nano that you see at the bottom left of the video. So the custom QR code decoding script is as follow. We read an image, try to decode the QR code. If there is success, we send the information back to the PC and we start on another image. If there is no success, we try to do a correction on the image and from that corrected image, try to read the QR code again and in all cases send information back to the PC and start on another image again. The correction is as follow, is to correct the view. Uh, we've tried to find the area where the QR code is. We generate the contour. We then co uh, analyze the contour. Then we generate a distortion map. In that case, it would be to compensate for the perspective distortions, create uh, the map image, uh, is to correct the image by itself, scale the image in the grayscale, and then provide the corrected image. So again, that would be just for that area here. So the QR code we are going to read is that one on the screen. And uh, to start uh, on the PC side, we will also run Edge Develop, uh, in that case as a receiving end. Uh, so the, the camera and the PC will be connected through Ethernet and communication going through a pipe uh, socket. And uh, the PC side will receive the image and the result of the processing. So to start processing on the camera, we typically start a Telnet application. Here we would be using TerraTerm. So connect to the camera. Verify the program is here. Yes. So we just have to type his file name and then press enter. So now it's starting, it wants to connect with the PC. On the PC side, we have to start the program as well. Okay. That should be starting soon. So communication will be starting between the two. Okay. So now you'll see here under Edge Develop, that's the images that the camera has taken and provided to the PC. And with the result of the processing here error because it cannot find any QR code. The Telnet application is also providing the information of the result of the processing. So we have it on both. Okay, so now you can see here the camera is looking at the ceiling. So that's why you cannot find any QR code. So I'm going to turn the camera so we can find a QR code. So here it is. So here we can see that on the Telnet, uh, we have a bit more information in some ways that we know that this is a direct decoding and this is the string that has been decoded from the QR code. So we can see, I can move the camera, the image is moving. We can still have the, uh, the decoding going on. 
further away, closer. Okay. So now uh, to activate the processing, so the direct decoding has to fail. And in some way, that would be uh, due to perspective distortion. So I have to move the camera on the side. And we start here. You can see indirect decoding uh, written on the telnet. And you can see that uh, the decoding is successful after the correction. So if you remember, the script is about first trying to decode the QR code. Uh, if it fails, then we correct the image and we try again on the corrected image. So here it means that the first one fails and the after correction of the image, then it succeeds. So if we move the camera back, then you can the direct is working again, and we can uh, we can go fairly on the side. So here, of course, it's not complete. So as you can see on the webcam at the bottom, the camera is very much on the side and we are still successfully decoding the QR code. So this is it for the video. Thank you for watching.